It is a sad time for many of us because Sunday's Liège Baston Liège heralds the end of yet another Spring Classics campaign. However, if last year's snow covered epic is anything to go by, we are in for a fantastic finale. The longer climbs of the Ardennes in Belgium offer the opportunity for Grand Tour contenders to enter into the mix with the one day classic specialist. And we have picked nine riders to watch out for. One of the first teams to announce their roster for La Doyenne was the Mobistar squad, and it is Alejandro Valverde who sits at the top of that list. Now, he has to go in once again as the favourite for the race because he's won it three times before, and it appears that he's on the form of his life despite a very long career. Already this year, he has won the Ruta del Sol, the Volta Catalunya, and the Tour of the Basque Country. And forgive me if he's already won Flesh Volon as well, but we're recording this before that race. This time last year, Team Sky finally took their maiden monument victory with a gutsy ride from Wout Pools, who incidentally won't be on the start line this year, has been suffering from a long-term knee injury. And that will probably mean that the leadership at that team will rest on the shoulders of Michal Kwiatkowski. Now, he took their second monument victory at Milan San Remo earlier on this year, and his form at Amstel was very good indeed. He's also been on the podium here at Liège Baston Liège before, so on his day, he could definitely take the win. Team Sky also have Colombian champion Sergio Enao, and if he were to take the win on Sunday, he'd be the first Colombian ever to do so. Dan Martin of Quickstep Floors is one of only three winners on the start line of the race this year, and that's partly down to the absence of his teammate, Philippe Gilbert. He won Amstel Gold, but had crashed earlier in the race and tore his kidney, so he'll be out of action for some time. And he's also got the absence of another teammate in the form of Julian Alaphilippe, who's been up there in this race before. So all of a sudden, there seems to be a lot more pressure resting on the shoulders of Dan Martin. However, he has more than proven in the past that he is capable of dealing with pressure like that. And this is his favourite spring classic. There is no doubt that Tim Wellens is one of the most aggressive riders in the modern peloton, and he is a threat to any bunch, which allows him much of a gap. However, you do wonder whether he needs to box a little more clever if he wants to win a race at this level. And it is this race that he really wants to win. He was born just 40 kilometers away from Liège, so he will know the roads like the back of his hands. And he knows the back of his hands really well because he spends so long in that aero position. If you have never heard the name Lillian Kalmajan, then there's little doubt that you will do so soon. We're not sure if he's the next Thomas Vauclair, but he is a fantastic climber. He first came onto the radar at last year's Vuelta Espana by winning a stage there, and he's backed that up with three overall stage race victories already in 2017, they being the Etoile de Bessers de Copper de Bartoli and the Circuit de la Sarve. His results in one day races are slightly less impressive so far, and the lack of experience that he has at Liège best on the age may hamper him slightly, but he will be far less marked than the big favourites. His best placing in this race might only be 25th, but we've still decided to include Tom Dumoulin of Team Sunweb as an outsider for the race this year. He's been steadily training for the Giro d'Italia in May, but his performance back at the Strada Bianca one day race in March was very good. And with his climbing and endurance coming on leaps and bounds over the last few years, we think he could pull off quite a big surprise this Sunday. Rui Costa of Portugal and UAE Emirates is not the first person that I think of when it comes to the one day races, but that is doing him a massive disservice because alongside his very impressive stayed racing Palmares, he's also been world champion and has had a whole host of top 10 places at the biggest one day races in the world. And on top of all of that, he was third at this race last year. So there's little doubt that on his day, he could well take his first ever monument victory. Young Frenchman Warren Barguil finished in a fine sixth place under torrid weather conditions this time last year, and he performed very well at Amstel Gold Race last Sunday. The longer climbs of Liège will no doubt suit him better though, so alongside Tom Dumoulin, it means that Team Sunweb have multiple cards to play this Sunday. Now another team which have multiple cards to play is the Australian squad 
Orica Scott. Now they haven't released their final lineup as we record this, but we believe they will have former winner Simon Gerrans on the start line, alongside the Yates twins, as well as a former Amstel Gold winner, Roman Kreutzker. However, our pick is Michael Albacini. He was third last weekend at the Amstel Gold race and runner-up in this race last year to Wout Pools. And if he did manage to carry off the victory this year, he'd become the second oldest winner ever behind a certain Alexander Vinokurov. Okay, so those are our nine riders to watch out for on Sunday. You can let us know your favourites in the comments section just down below. And please feel free to ridicule me if I once again have missed out on the eventual winner. Now, if you'd like to subscribe to the Global Cycling Network, it is free to do so, and all you've got to do is click on the globe. After which, you can watch one of the following two videos. First up, down there, is the latest GCN show. And second of all, just down there, Si and Matt take a look at what is the fastest bike over the Paris-Roubaix cobbles. Is it a mountain bike, a cyclocross bike, or a road bike? We find out.